guys it's your baby girl again the Adni banjo and i'm back again with another video oh i'm so sorry guys for um so sorry for not posting i'm sorry that the last video i posted was like two months ago and that was my move from nigeria to the united kingdom and since then i've not even made any video at all and mind me guys i'm just being very witty but i promise to be consistent and be giving you banging videos so today i'll be trying to like i'll be attempting to make a frontal wig like on my head by myself but yes fun fact is that i've never fixed frontal before so i'll be trying to fix the frontal by myself because the people in this uk they want to kill, they want to kill me with the prices that they are calling to make hair so i'll be attempting to make my hair i made this all back by myself so i'll just try to make the front half by myself so as i'm attempting to do the frontal I'm, um i'll be um giving you guys an update so this like an this like a life update and like attempting to fix the frontal so guys first of all i have this recap i have to i forgot that it is not the um color tone cap that i have so please i don't know how this thing is going to look it's already looking like a disaster jesus god please what's, what sort of life is this but let's get right into it but before that don't forget to like subscribe and share and turn on the post notification so that you know when next i drop a video guys this is the cup that i'll be using and this is my got to be spray that i bought from nigeria i'm not going to be making use of that glue i don't know i feel that glue is too dangerous for me i don't know but i'll be making use of this then um for everything not only the cap but also for the week so let me just try to uh, spray this side spray. god i don't know what i'm doing though so guys let me be testing you hmm. guys you know how in nigeria how people are always saying that ah guys should come to the uk come to the uk the uk it's easy you get job fast fast hmm. i came to the uk on the um 31st of january and this is april 3rd i didn't get a job for a whole one and a half month i just got a job like the last week of march it's not as easy as people think it is in any way god this uk is hard i'm not even going to lie to you it is very hard i remember when my sister came to the uk and i was like ah, i was so eager to come my sister was always telling me hey you want to run back if you come that is not as easy as you think it is oh it's not as easy as you think it is i'll be like uh uh uh, uh. and first thing first thing guys let me advise you guys don't ever tell anybody not to come to the uk please even if they're your best friend make sure that you tell them that ah he's a sweet place because i'll not be the person that will say that ah, don't come oh. before they say that i'm enemy of progress in the name of jesus i don't know how to fight please 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 please, please help me <laughs> sorry guys but honestly people will make you think like it's like people who, who make it seem like you don't want their progress or something like that i mean i'm not cut out for all that kind of stuff in the name of jesus i'm bleeding i'm bleeding so i just got a job and funniest part is that people will be saying ah apply to you indeed if you apply to you indeed you will get a job apply to this you get it was guys indeed if you apply to 50 jobs on indeed 40 who sent you an email unfortunately we cannot give you this job and i'll be like gold of mercy what exactly is going on what did i do like i've never been so incompetent since i came to the shuki damn it has just been very very hectic for me also coming to this uk i learned that everybody minds their business so much you can be dying and so people just pass you and go nobody but it's just like it's, it's, it's like liverpool because um, i'm in liverpool liverpool is a bit better than um 
it's a bit better than London because people always say that our ah, London people they don't talk, they don't talk to you, they're always keeping to themselves. What's their business with your life? That that's how London people are. But you, you, Liverpool people will still say, huh, you're right. It's here that I saw that you are right. It's not uh, like asking you because if you ask someone that you are you are, you are right in Nigeria, they go change out for you. Say, so waiting this what they talk now. Nah, you fool you talk. <laughs> so your right is just like a greeting. Nineteen Kingdom here. You're right, and you answer like I'm alright or I'm okay, something like that. Sha. So <laughs> see the cultural difference is really, 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 really different. Another one is that. I drink tap water if you buy bottled water you are wasting your time the thing is if you are you are somebody that okay maybe you get allergic to um tap water or you don't like the taste of some water because they always treat their water they recycle everything nothing goes to waste in this country they use everything recycle everything not like nigeria that uh, you um they, if we take bottle trade away this place if you, you drop a bottle they will recycle it they use it to make something else so mostly we drink um tap water me i drink tap water so I, if it's for another person they can they might not drink tap water but me i drink tap water because there's nothing wrong in the tap water <laughs> guys well okay this thing Okay, I think he's going to my head already and I'm going to try to trim the cap. So, that's it, Jerry. Um, what else again? Um, I, I decided to cut the rest off camera because the thing was not conceptualizing. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, another cultural shock when I, I um, got to the UK is that PDA is everywhere. <laughs> if it's that we're in Nigeria, if you like, there was a day that I was at the bus station. I don't know about me, guys, this is, but let me spill because you guys are my family. There was a day I was at the bus. Come and see. There was one boy and one girl. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When they say breakfast knows no colors, that is the real definition of breakfast knows no colors. Because this, there was this guy, this, and it's obvious that they were teenagers. There was this guy and this girl. So they were talking, and oh, I don't know. That's how the person is having the girl breakfast. So shouting at her, leave me alone. Don't talk to me like that. Don't call me anymore. Don't, don't come to my house. Stay away from my city where the girl was crying. So Everybody was waiting for the bus, so everybody was looking at them. We started laughing. Even the, everybody, we were just laughing. That was going on. What's all this scenario for? Do you get? So the next thing, the bus now came. I think the girl wanted to enter the bus. That's a bus. The boy told her that enter the bus. That she go. Mother had this girl dragging and started running like Cinderella. Jesus Christ! I see the way she was running. But when I started walking fast, yeah, this guy had was like, "Hey, God, this love is sweet. Oh, PDA is is a normal thing here." Yeah people kiss people hold the, the, their selves like it's, it's always very cute most times because when i see like an old man and an old woman they're always locking hands holding themselves it's always very romantic and very cute ah god i wish my nigerian brothers can be like that or even me myself because i'm not a romantic person so that's it what other cultural shock okay cultural shock as per money they don't pay monthly yeah even rent you pay your rent you see the thing is that for rent it is reverse for payment of your like for the work you've done it is reverse rent you pay monthly yeah you pay monthly rent in nigeria you can pay one millionaire and to cover a whole 12 years um, and, sorry i said yes a whole 12 months but you see when you come to this uk all your money all the whole money that you pay for a year in nigeria you will pay for more months in this united kingdom so in that and i think i would advise people that when you're coming here make sure that you prepare yourself well save like two to three months or four months rent down so that you will not be stranded and sleep in the cold this uk weather is is not friendly if there's push your load outside in the cold it's not be fun you have to pay for the rent do you get so for working they pay you weekly i'm not saying weekly per se it's not like when you work wednesday and thursday they'll pay you on that same week on friday the thing is that when you work throughout the week 
then they'll pay you the following week friday you get your pay slip on thursday the following week you get um the following week you get your payment and since you've already dropped your details they'll just pay directly to you so there's one thing that i really detest so much and i don't think i can ever get used to that is the uk weather this uk weather is so bipolar jesus christ of nazareth this you see the weather can move from raining to snowing to freezing rain to hot to sun shining and go back to raining again then cold will increase i've never seen like now there's sun but if you go out see this uk weather it can deceive you if you go outside now when you go outside you think because there is sun if you now go outside it is cold <laughs> like when the first got here i was like ah, oh, this one is ac pro max so me that i thought that i like ac this one is not ac you know either over ac me because i don't get it is just too too cold hey jesus it's so cold i don't i don't think i'm getting used to it even the way they are saying that it's springtime and the cold is going down is a lie this cold is increasing hi god i don't know it's me but this cold is increasing i don't think i can get it used to it when you guys are coming make sure see people will say ah, don't bring summer clothes so please bring summer clothes because when winter goes summer clothes what will you wear you can't be wearing coat or jackets inside uh, um, sun although it might be cold that's why you wear um things are a little bit thick so also when you're coming please bring jackets bring cardigan i brought all those things and it's really worked for me so by first you buy three you can buy one you can buy two just depends on how you want another thing guys please bring food <laughs> bring food stuff the kind of person i am eh? i'm not somebody that um cooks a lot like i know how to cook but cooking is not one thing i'll be doing eh, forever every day it's not me it's not my style i know myself it's not my style it's not my way do you get but when i got to this i still cooking when you hear chef duny chef duny in the kitchen stirring pots that is me because if you don't cook hunger will hook you you will before my taste buds start getting used to the food here it will take a while but i found some nice places like nice restaurants that they sell food and their food is really nice and you can go to black donald's but it's not everyday you be eating but you want to have like a taste of nigerian food too so it's good just bring food stuff bring your gary bring your rice bring every see bring everything bring it boo. please bring it some of it are expensive here yeah, if you go to the african store it is really expensive i already made up my mind that i'll start cooking for real food because me i can't be cooking too much African food that the African shop wants to chop out the money. All the money I'm making in one week, I will go and spend it in African store. Please, in the name of God, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I don't do that. <laughs> Guys, I have the week on my head now. I've been talking since. I've forgotten that I'm doing here. I've been giving you people gist since. So, this is the week. I got this week from, um, what they call it? What's the name of this heaven though? Z who sells Ninja and honestly I do not like it. So guys, uh added the goo. The process was a disaster. I don't know if I'm going to shoot on camera, but I've um put the got to be spray because I don't want to use the um the glue. So uh I used this to hold it down. Then uh, what I'll be doing right now is so that the edges can stay in one place. So right now what I'll be doing is I'll try and use um what do you call it wax to make the hair go down a bit. You get so that's what i'll be doing now so, so guys i've gotten the hot comb now so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put wax my wax is here then use it to press um the upper parts down so Now I'll be using the straightener to straighten 
the hair. Thing, another thing I know that it is almost too bad this UK is working. My iPhone does this thing that it counts my steps. Hmm. Guys, I take 15,000, like, I take at least 15,000 steps. I've walked so much in this UK that it has become normal. Whenever I see, check Google Maps and I check and be like, ah, 30 minutes, I'll be like, ah, it's not far. 50 minutes, ah, it's not far. I can just walk and I'll walk. Nigeria, they did not bomb me well because I will faint before I even get to where I'm going. Honestly, I will faint. But in this UK, it's like a normal thing. Everybody walks and everybody is always walking fast. Like Google Map is your best friend. Google Map or City Mapper is the best thing that you can use to find your way in this UK. Honestly, the best thing you can use to find your way in this UK. Because, hmm. If you try to use any other, if you try to use any other thing, they will just take you to Manchester. <laughs> you guys should not mind me, but they will honestly take you to Manchester. And so guys, I've been attempting to do baby hair on my head. I, I'm feeling that this is going to be a disaster, but let me try. in the uk is not just as easy as people make it seem or make it look like when you come like this the straight up job no stress you're living la vida yes it's not like that at all the uk is not even like that but we think god shall i'll be using my moko the gorilla glue and this brush to do my edges so it can lay then i'll spray they got to be spray on it so i can stay that guys this is the finished look <laughs> i don't know if i did this thing well for first attempt not bad at all maybe i'll try to get more frontal wigs and the next one i'll be doing i'll be using that bold glue that took for the week to stay on my hair um not bad not bad honestly after straightening this hair it looks very okay so guys Thank you for watching stay to the end and thank you for watching this video if you waited to the end you're a real og don't forget to subscribe like and share and turn on the post notifications so whenever i post a video you'll be the first to know so guys see you some other time bye